great knowledge. Great knowledge sees all in one. Small knowledge breaks down into the many. When the body sleeps, the soul is enfolded in one. When the body wakes, the openings begin to function. They resound with every encounter, with all the varied business of life, the strivings of the heart. Men are blocked, perplexed, lost in doubt. Little fears eat away their peace of heart. Great fears swallow them whole. Arrows shot at a target hit and miss right and wrong. This is what men call judgment, decision. Their pronouncements are as final as treaties between emperors. Oh, they make their point. Yet their arguments fall faster and feebler than dead leaves in autumn and winter. Their talks flow out like piss, never to be recovered. They stand at last, blocked, bound, and gagged, choked up like old drain pipes. The mind fails. It shall not see light again. Pleasure and rage, sadness and joy, hopes and regrets, change and stability, weakness and decision, impatience and sloth. All are sounds from the same flute. All mushrooms from the same wet mold. Day and night follow one another and come upon us without our seeing how they sprout. Enough! Enough! Early and late we meet the that from which these all grow. If there were no that, there would be no this. If there were no this, there would be nothing for all these winds to play on. So far can we go. But how shall we understand what brings it about? One may well suppose the true governor to be behind it all. That such a power works, I can believe. I cannot see his form. He acts, but has no form.